Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question regarding this video or any other video that I have posted in the past, please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak@gmail.com. I will be able to answer your question more fully through email. And also, if you have any comments, suggestions, or recommendations regarding my YouTube channel, I would love to hear from you. Recently, have you asked me how do you know when a carbon steel walk is not seasoned, and what would you do about it? And when your walk looks like this, you know it is not seasoned, and food will stick and burn to the surface of the walk. And normally, if the walk is well seasoned, it should look something like this. It provides a oily sheen. Uh, this oily sheen can be easily removed uh, by several ways. One is that you wash it with soap. Another way is that you boil water in it. As in this case, I use the wok to steam. A steaming is boiling water in the wok. Like in this case, I use the wok to steam some chicken as well to steam some potato and carrot.、Uh, this is a good way、uh, for me to cook this. Both of this, and later on, which I use it to make a curry. The consequence of、uh, boiling water in a、uh, wok, in this case a carbon steel wok,、uh, it will remove the protective layer、uh, of the seasoning that was laid down previously. So as you can see here,、uh, this wok look very dry. It lack that shiny、um, gleam that you will find associated to the wok that has been seasoned. Uh, this wok without the protective oil film、uh, will rust if you have any moisture left on the surface of the wok, and this is the reason that、uh, people advise against into boiling water into a carbon steel wok or a cast iron wok because of the tendency for them to rust. The situation now is like this is like a brand new wok. And、the only way for you to create、uh, a layer of seasoning on the surface wall, according to the traditional methods that is available、uh, in many books and internet,、uh, is to re-season the wall all from scratch using a elaborate method.、Uh, sometimes this method involves、uh, heating oil in the wall for multiple times, or even、uh, put oil on the surface of the wall and then bake the wall in the oven. Uh, the goal is to create a, a layer known as patina that will、uh, prevent food from sticking and burn to the surface of the wall. I used to use this method for a long time, and I find it very frustrating because each time when you have something happen like this, like boiling water in the wall, you have to start the process all over again. And then I discovered there's a much simpler method, and I call it spot seasoning. That will allow you to、uh, recreate this non-stick cook surface in less than 15 seconds.、And、the method is very simple, as in I show you in here. I add the oil to the wok, and then I let the oil to smoke gently. As you can see, the oil arising from the surface of the wok、uh, for about 10 or 15 seconds. It depends on、uh, how well the wok、uh, need to be seasoned. And in here, I demonstrated after 15 seconds, I start to cook right away. I cook some shrimp. This shrimp has been coated with、uh, cornstarch, and if a wok is not、uh, having a non-stick cook surface, the shrimp will stick and burn to the surface of the wok. And in here, I demonstrate that because of what I have done in this very simple method, the shrimp will not stick.、And、this seasoning method works very well with any wok. Material that is a、uh, iron base,、uh, this including the, of course carbon steel, cast iron, light cast iron, and stainless steel. Although different wok can be seasoned slightly differently in terms of how well they can be seasoned, a、uh, carbon steel tends to be the best, and followed by cast iron, light cast iron, and stainless steel.、Uh, the concept of this method actually is very simple.、Uh, basically, when oil heat up to the temperature that are close to its smoking point. Basically,、uh, they undergo breakdown and they form a polymer-like structure that coat the surface of the cooked material. And this、uh, material、uh, is a, a dynamic coating process. It's not a permanent coating like in the case of a non-stick cooked surface.、Uh, in this case, the bond that are formed between the oil molecule and the metal surface is temporary and can be easily removed. However, the, the oil material could continue to build up on it as long as you do not using 
any agent or any type of uh, cooking situation that will remove the oil. And in this case, boiling water uh, in the wok is a good way to remove those oil. And this is the reason that why after I steam the vegetables uh, using my steamer, uh, I discovered that the wok no longer uh, retain its oily sheen. Nevertheless, use the spot seasoning method, I can easily uh, re-establish this uh, association between the oil and the surface of the wok and to create this protective layer that will prevent food from stick and burning. And this can be easily done, as I have shown earlier, by heating the wok to the temperature when the oil is near its uh, dissociation point or the smoking point, and the oil will form a polymer that will cover the surface of the wok and give it that non-stick cooked surface. As you can see here, now the wok has a oily sheen to it. Now it turned out that um, once you uh, start to uh, build this layer, it will continue to build on it. And as long as you do not uh, disrupt it using washing or boiling, uh, it will remain. And this is why when people who use uh, carbon steel wok, uh, they will suggest that you uh, use it only for stir frying, but not for anything else. And this will allow this uh, layer of uh, oil to continue to accumulate. Now in here, I demonstrate to you, you notice that I'm going to fry a couple eggs in it. Uh, I have uh, hardly any oil on the surface of the wok. Now in under most situations, uh, the egg will stick and burn to the surface of the wok. But if that oily protective layer is still there, you will find the egg do not stick. And this is why the general advance when it comes to a carbon steel wok is that uh, use your wok only for stir frying, do not use it for anything else. If you use for boiling, uh, you're going to have a tendency to remove this oil protective layer. And also, you should not scrub it with soap because soap will dissolve oil and again, that will remove that oily protective layer. And this will uh, make the wok uh, more likely uh, to have food stick and burn to the surface of the wok. Now, for people who do not follow this guideline and using a carbon steel wok, they constantly run into problems. They will realize that uh, the wok is not as uh, protected as they think it should be. When they cook eggs particularly, they will find the egg will stick and burn to the surface of the wok. And that could be very frustrating. So the solution to this is to understand what actually is responsible for providing the protection in the case of a wok like this. And the reason is that it's due to the formation of this uh, uh, oily protective layer, which uh, created when the wok is being heated to a temperature when the oil start to dissociate and form in this polymer layer that will provide a protection. Now in this case, it demonstrates very clearly in here is that this wok is well protected because of um, the frying that has been done with the egg and I did not put any more oil into the wok and still you notice that the egg fries in the wok without any problem uh, from sticking. You can use the wok spatula to freely move the egg around. However, if I wash this wok with uh, soap, I will immediately lose this uh, protection and next time when I fry egg in it, the egg will start to stick and burn, uh, even though I put oil in the wok. So the only way to prevent that is to uh, do this spot seasoning procedure. In this case, again, it's very simple. All you have to do is heat up the wok uh, so that the oil start to dissociate, and you only need to have the oil to smoke for about 10 to 15 seconds. Apparently, this is enough to create that protective layer that you want that will help you to prevent food from sticking and burning. So here I provide you an explanation of how the spot seasoning works and by demonstrating to you that how the spot seasoning methods allow you to season the wok anytime you want, no matter what you have done to the wok. So I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.